Welcome everybody to Tragic MTG and today we'll be taking a big swing on some Onslaught starter packs here. 75 additional cards of Onslaught, the expert level. These are uh, getting pretty old. Uh, managed to score a couple of these from a, uh, a fellow YouTuber, a viewer of the channel, Bumpasaurus420. Um, if you check down below in the comments, undoubtedly you will see uh, him reacting to this uh, and many of my other videos. So thank you very much, Bump, um, for hooking me up with this. Uh, we made a deal, and I think we both are doing okay on the deal. So uh, <clears throat> haven't fully decided if I'm going to open both of these. I'll tell you that right now. I'm going to open one. It's going to be this one. And if I am unsatisfied with what I get, I may try to double or nothing the other one. I don't know. If I do really good, I'll probably just leave the other one. So uh, come with me on this journey and see where it leads us. Let's see if we get that, uh, get what we want out of here. Which, what would we want? Well, we would want foil fetch lands. That's what we would really want here for sure. So let's go uh, take a look at the packaging. Sure. It's Onslaught, 75 additional cards. You can get some booster packs and theme decks. You can even get a fat pack back when they looked a little different than they do nowadays. It had the hanger um, thingy on it, which, yeah, I guess that would have hung nicely on a uh, pegboard at that time. But we are going to get into this. Uh, let's see, is there an opener? Some of these have... Like a little zipperino, yeah, I think, is that it? Am I imagining? Yep, there it is. That was it. So let's open the strip, the zipperino, as it is. I think I just coined that term. Just like a little cigarette pack. And uh, so here, before I open this, like, I've actually uh, I've gone back and forth a little bit on this and seen other examples where... Um, some of these have uh, sealed cards inside a, uh, a pack in there, but a good majority of them do not. They're just loose in here, and so uh, I'm aware that these are going to be loose cards in here. That is normal, so let's get into it and see. Um, and then really got to figure out the order because I want to want to show off the, the the lands first. That that's a, one of the nice things about these tournament packs is that you get a nice full set of really nice old school basic lands here and the onslaught lands are really nice we're going to kind of go through these a little bit here very nice forest very nice plains <laughs> they're all very nice look at that island. look at that island beautiful island swamp swamp is good i uh, really appreciate these I, I actually have been saving out of all of my random buys any black border pre-modern land so that's anything from like mercadian masks and odyssey uh, invasion i guess uh, onslaught um, so on and so forth portal even um, i think that they are really nice i think that there are collectors out there that want to use these for their decks they're they're a little bit a little bit neater to see um, the old border frame and art that you don't see all the time anymore than the, the newer modern um, borders. Um, so, just gonna take a minute and appreciate these onslaught lands. Look at that! Look at that little lighthouse there. Very cool stuff. So, I am going to try not to spoil the foil. You get, I believe, you get one foil here, which I'm not positive if it's facing the other way. Let me see here. We've got a rules insert, and then looks like a like a survey here. So there's a, a something. I'm not sure if that's a rare or a uncommon. And on the back, I'm just gonna peek. No, that's okay. That's not a foil. I'm gonna pause real quick and do a little research. I'll be right back. All right, I think I got it now. So the the three cards um, that would be underneath this survey card are going to be the rare. So I'm going to take those right there. I believe this last one is going to be a foil. I'm not positive. So we're going to put that one last. Um, a bunch of these are going to be like uncommons. We'll put those on 
underneath there. Totally reshuffling this, probably unnecessarily. Let's see what we get when we flip this over. There are some commons. So let's do it like this. We got Sparksmith, Creature Goblin, deals X damage to target creature and X damage to you. X is the number of goblins to play. That seems pretty decent, honestly, for a goblin deck. We got a Lonely Sandbar, a Snarling Undo Rack, Charging Slate Back. Mage's Guile. Art is great. Got some really... Uh, Rebecca Gay, very nice. Got a Taunting Elf. Crown of Suspicion. And if, if I get a hit, I will scan it up. We'll hit the scanner here in a second. We got Nosy Goblin. Choking Tethers. Tap up to four creatures. Disciple of Grace. Spurred Wolverine. Spy Network. Big ol' eye. Where I would pride, siphon mind, demystify, break open, Ixador's will, well wisher, wave of indifference. <laughs> the god was sneaking up on you. Just saying, slipstream eel. It's really cool. I've never really looked at that card. The dude is just writing in this eel throat it's pretty interesting vitality charm severed legion daunting defender goblin taskmaster I like the goblins of onslaught sage avon crown of vigor and we are into the uncommons we might hit another common or two at the end of this i'm not positive let's see about maybe we'll scan some of these uh, uncommons if they look interesting. Death Pulse. Gus Cloak Sentinel. Commando Raid. Fleeting Avon. Primal Boost. I'm not positive which uncommons out of Onslaught would be like good ones. I'll just know it when I see it, hopefully. A Fetto Grifter. Invigorating Boon. Comment down below if you see an uncommon that I missed. Gluttonous Zombie. Sunfire Balm. Thoughtbound Primok. And there's another common. So that was all the uncommons. We're going to come up on the rares here. We got a Misformed Dreamer. A Barkhide Mauler. Swat. Dive Bomber. Next one might be a rare. Rare. Weathered Wayfarer. I think that's pretty decent. Nomad Cleric for one white. It's a 1-1. One, one. You can pay one in a white. Search your library for a land card. Reveal it. Put it into your hand. Then shuffle your library. Play this ability only if an opponent controls more land than you. Uh, is that a really good card? Let's scan it. Let's find out. And the next card will be a clone. Weathered Wayfarer is 989. So that's halfway decent right there. Clone, the classic, we got uh, for three and a blue, you can make a copy as it comes into play. You may choose a creature in play if you do, clone comes into play as a copy of that creature. This one's been printed many, many times. And then the next rare is going to be a Grinning Demon. Clone is 53 cents. So the next card I believe will be the foil. The chances of hitting like a foil fetch land would be really small. Um, but boy, would it be worth quite a bit of money. <laughs> Grinning Demon is a 6-6 six, six demon for 4. At the beginning of your upkeep, lose 2 life. You can morph it for 2 and a black, or 2 black. And our foil is not a land, and it's also not a foil. It's a Shepherd of Rot. How did I mess that up? No foil in this pack. Well, interesting. Shepherd of Rot is a zombie cleric. All right, well. I would have to say that I am going to have to gamble again. Uh, was thought for sure you got a foil in all of these packs, but maybe that wasn't guaranteed. I certainly did not miss one. Let's do it again. Um, and I don't, I don't think there's any shenanigans. I trust my my seller on this. It's not a thing. So. If anyone knows down below, are were you absolutely guaranteed a foil in one of these packs or not? 
let's open up the next one and just see how we do We're going for the gusto here we will go for the gusto as soon as we can find that little the zipperino oh, where is it certainly it's here somewhere there got it okay next pack of onslaught well at least I get another nice set of basic lands oops well I saw the foil there is a foil in this one and I don't think it's what we were really after it's okay it's okay it's okay um, in fact this is this is it and then we would have three rares right is that right no yeah I already forget no it's gonna be these ones hold on <laughs> there we go rares the foil several uncommons I don't know what the hell I'm doing the commons nope I totally messed that up again you guys I just give up you, you, you know I should probably just give up at this point uh, whatever happens happens all right here we go got our basic lands you know I'm you know I'm good for it right all right pretty much the same lands we saw before I'm sure I don't know some of these look a little different am I deluding myself I'm really good at that. I'm able to delude myself into thinking that stuff like this is a good idea. How about you? All right, so now if I flip this over, what am I going to see? Another land. Okay. More basic lands. Okay, I'm into the commons. I don't know where I put the foil now at this point. I would not do well at the shell game, I think, even if I did it for myself. We've got a backslide, a wirewood elf. Crown of Suspicion, Grassland Crusader, Misery Charm, Crown of Awe, Crown of Fury, Information Dealer, Leary Fog Beast, Wretched Onurid, Gust Cloak Runner, Brightstone Ritual is a pretty decent common, should be worth like a little bit over a buck. Add mana to your mana pool for all of your goblins. Seize Claim, Battering Craghorn, Sage Aven, Wirewood Savage, Shepherd of Rot, Piety Charm, Wave of Indifference again, another, another Eel, Vitality Charm, Severed Legion, Uncommons, Aven, Fate Shaper, Wall of Mulch, Goblin Burrow, so uncommon land. I don't think this one is really worth much. It can't even be shown here. Got bad internet problems here. Uh, one second. Oh, Bink, it went through for 29 cents. Death Pulse. Pearl Spear Courier. Goblin Machinist. Makes a pretty decent machine right there. Riptide Chronologist. Brood Hatch Nantuko, Fade from Memory, Sunfire Balm, and back to commas again. We got a Disruptive Pit Mage. Well, at least I did the ordering correctly, apparently. Spitting Gorna, Cruel Revival, Avon Brigadier is our first rare. We got three and three white. It's a bird soldier. A soldier. All of the flying. All of the birds get one one. All of the soldiers get one one. It's a three five. Uh, pretty high casting cost, but I mean it's kind of an interesting lord we got there. Next one is a risky move. Avon Brigadier is over a buck. Risky move for three and three red enchantment. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player gains control of Risky Move. When you gain control of Risky Move from another player, choose a creature you control and an opponent. Flip a coin. If you lose that flip, that opponent gains control of that creature. Ah, interesting commander fun nonsense card right there. Um, not going to be worth a whole lot, I'm guessing. Risky Move, and then the next card is a Grand Coliseum. we got a land. Buck 99 for the Coliseum. 
or for the move. Grand Coliseum comes into play tap. You can, you can tap to pay one or to add one, or you can add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Grand Coliseum deals one damage to you. So it's not quite a city of brass. Um, similar. If it didn't come into play tapped, right, it would probably be pretty decent. Grand Coliseum. And then there's our foil. It's a spitting Gorna. Grand Coliseum is 375. The spitting Gorna in foil. The, the foiling from Onslaught is pretty nice, I gotta say. I I like the just the the border being foil on some of these. Kind of nice. So, um, and then we've got more common. So, the spitting Gorna in foil. Thirty-three cents, and we got a Harrier, and a Forgotten Cave, and an Avon, and a Tusker. So these got put out of order at some point. So there we have it: two tournament starter decks of uh, Onslaught, open for your enjoyment and mine. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to comment down below, hit like on the like button, and catch you on my other videos. Tragic out.